We have a very sad and sick story to tell you about um, pets burned on purpose and left to die. Several have been found around Philadelphia in just the past few weeks. And I really do have to warn you that what you're about to see is quite graphic. Um, Hercules was found just yesterday. He's just a puppy, four months old, severely burned on his back, burned on his leg. He is expected to be okay. He's going to make it. But some of the dogs that have been found not as lucky as Hercules. The next dog I'm going to show you, and I do want to warn you again, um, this is a graphic picture, more graphic than the last picture that you saw. Chloe. Chloe was found with severe burns all over her body about two weeks ago. We've even had to blur out the worst parts of this because this is just such a horrible attack. Chloe didn't make it. Chloe died uh, because of the attack and the injuries that she sustained from that attack. Mark Peralta joins me now and heads the um, Pennsylvania Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals. Mark, it's just unbelievable to see a story like this. Do you have any idea at this point who might be responsible or if it is um, related, if these attacks against the dogs in the last month have been related? We're really early in the investigation process. What I can tell you is we certainly are not ruling out that, that these two could be. Um, linked. Uh, they're within about a mile um, from each other, both incidences. So we're, we're in the early stages of investigating. But again, are we're not going to rule this out. But this, they are. Yes, absolutely. The pol police are participating, but the Pennsylvania SPCA um, is at the forefront of the investigation right now. So and about that investigation, are you able to find any surveillance video in the area where these dogs have been found? Is everybody being helpful in terms of turning over perhaps their personal or business uh, surveillance videos in the area? Again, at this time, we're even still trying to locate who the owner of the, of the animal is. So the puppy definitely was owned. Uh, we have the Good Samaritan that actually brought the animal in. So we've uh, conducted interviews with that person this morning. So um, at this time, there is, there's nothing like that that exists. One of the other dogs um, was a, a Yorkie Poo. And apparently, the, the Yorkie Poo had been uh, asphyxiated and then set on fire and was um, it was reported to police as a, a trash fire, but when they responded, they, they found the dog. Did, did that dog survive? That dog did not survive, unfortunately, no. It's just unbelievable that, the, I mean, this is such a strange string of events. Have you seen anything like this before in, in your city or anybody else's uh, jurisdictions? Yeah, uh, from time to time, I and mean, we, we've seen it. Un unfortunately, it's becoming a very disturbing trend this year and in the past. Uh, gosh, t two months, we've seen it a lot. I mean, and with Chloe and with Hercules alone in the same actual area of the city within 10 days. So it's really becoming alarming at, at the higher rates that we're starting to see this. So we're really trying to get out into the community and, and hopefully make people aware that this is going on and that these people are in your community and that, you know, organizations like ours, the Pennsylvania SPCA, need help with information. Uh, we're a 501c3 nonprofit, so everything that we do is based on donations from the community. So we really need the community's help in trying to find out um, you know, who's behind these uh, awful atrocities do you, do you and so we can of, prosecute them. You know, do you know of any trends in crime in terms of is this, could it possibly be gang related? Do you think it's a, more along the, the lone wolf kind of perpetrator? Right now, I can't even speculate. We've, uh, you know, in the past, we've had things from, uh, you know, disputes in a marriage, domestic disputes to um, somebody who owed someone money. So there's there's numerous reasons why this happens. And, uh, you know, I, I can't even speculate as to why this this current uh, situation happened yet. Hey, how is um, Hercules, the little puppy that we showed, the four month old puppy? How's he doing? Well, that's the good news. He is uh, he's a fighter and even going through everything that he went through, he was there, you know, waiting to be pet, wanted, you know, wanted love from us. And he's he's fighting. I, uh, prognosis looks good. Pennsylvania SPCA, I know people can find you online and I'm sure you're in need of uh, people not only to give but to adopt and uh, be good parents to these dogs and cats and animals. Uh, Mark, thanks. I appreciate it. And, and good luck in this investigation. I hope you find whoever's responsible for this. My pleasure. And thank you so much for your time. All right, Mark Peralta joining us from uh, Pennsylvania, from the Pennsylvania SPCA. My next guest admits he did it. He beat up a priest. He says that priest molested him and molested his brother when they were just children, ages five and seven. But a jury says William Lynch is not guilty of anything. So was justice served in this case? I'm going to speak with Mr. Lynch next.